welcome in this session i am going to discuss the last topic of this chapter chromosomal disorders and with this i'll be completing principles of inheritance and variation so let's see chromosomal disorders now what causes these chromosomal disorders so these chromosomal disorders are caused due to absence of one or more chromosomes or due to presence of one or more extra chromosomes or due to an abnormal arrangement of chromosomes due to an abnormal arrangement of chromosomes so any one of these will be a reason for causing chromosomal disorders now let's understand these uh, chromosomal disorders uh, by taking an example i'll be taking here humans as an example and we know in case of humans the diploid number of chromosomes are 46 so let's take here 44a plus xx will be the number of uh, chromosomes in case of a uh, right female and in case of male 44a plus xy now here uh, say suppose in this case during the process of meiosis in female uh, the two X chromosomes they fail to get separated as a result the egg will be having 22A plus XX right and say in this case the meiosis is normal and that resulted in having 22A plus X 50% of sperms and 22A plus Y the remaining 50% of the sperms. So if this egg and this sperm, okay, fertilization results in having 44A plus XXX. So 44, 45, 46, 47. So the number of chromosomes have gone to 47. So here uh, the female born will have, okay, an extra X chromosome in this case. And here, if this okay sperm having okay Y chromosome, so 44A plus XXY. So here, the born male will be also having extra chromosomes. So 44, 45, 46, total 47 chromosomes. So both are abnormal uh, conditions. So in these both cases, it results in chromosomal disorders. So we'll see. In another case, okay, so female 44A plus XX, then in case of male 44A plus XY. And say suppose during the process of meiosis, okay, here in case of uh, female it is normal and the X are having, okay, normal complement, so 22A plus X. And here, Say suppose in case of autosomes, okay, the chromatids did not get separated and it results in formation of uh, sperms. So that will be having 21A plus X and in this case, okay, 23A plus, okay, Y. Now, so this egg and the sperm will result in 43a plus xx so here the total number of chromosomes are only 45 and in this case there will be 45a plus xy so this will be 47 okay so here uh, i have shown you two examples uh, not this uh, failure of segregation of chromosomes or uh, i mean chromatids not always takes place in females it can happen in males also either males or females 
during the meiosis process there may be a failure of segregation of chromatids okay that may result in a formation of gametes okay with the extra number of chromosomes or less number of chromosomes so in this case okay the gamete having right less number of chromosomes so this gamete having less number of chromosomes right uh, fertilize the gamete with the normal number of chromosomes so that's the reason why we have the less number of chromosomes in the individual bond and in this case the gamete received more number of chromosomes so the gamete that has more number of chromosomes when fertilized with the normal okay gamete it resulted in having extra number of chromosomes but uh, how okay is this uh, extra number of chromosomes or less number of chromosomes uh, let's take an illustration where i will be taking 2 n is equal to 4 uh, i will be not taking uh, all the 46 chromosomes uh, in case of uh, human beings okay say suppose the diploid number itself is four chromosomes so here okay now we know in the metaphase that is metaphase okay one the chromosomes will align in two rows so it means that in anaphase 1 it is the chromosomes that get separated okay so here in anaphase 1 chromosomes get separated so finally it results in the formation of two cells okay so that will be having okay n haploid so they will be having haploid number of chromosomes in this case n is equal to 2 here also n is equal to 2 now this is uh, at the end of meiosis 1 now meiosis 2 where in the metaphase 2 we see the chromosomes align in single row so they are going to align in single row okay and here it will be that is in anaphase 2 in anaphase 2 chromatids will get separated so chromatids should get separated so if it is the case then so at the end will have two cells and say suppose this from uh, in this chromosome the chromatids did not get separated so okay so you will be having okay like this and this one this whole one will enter into only one cell into one cell and the others will not be able to receive and in this case say suppose if it takes place uh, completely normal then okay we see here one two chromosomes and here also two chromosomes so here n is equal to two here also n is equal to two okay so but here you will be okay where uh, you will see a condition okay uh, plus one condition and in this case there is minus one condition and say suppose okay if uh, a gamete with the normal chromatids okay comes in contact with this so this one and this one okay so that results in having a condition 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 and if this one and this one comes in contact it will be 2n minus 1 so that is what uh, this condition is called trisomy and this is called monosomy 
okay right of course here uh, don't think that uh, which I have shown the trisomy and monosomy conditions where all these gametes are of uh, uh, um, from the same parent no okay say that okay so these are four gametes which are formed in case of female and uh, like this if they are also formed in case of male gametes then in that case if a male gamete that is having similar chromosome composition uh, comes in contact with this then it results in the trisomy or okay the monosomy conditions okay so with this we understand that failure of segregation that is separation so failure of segregation of chromatids during cell division so failure of segregation of chromatids during cell division results in a condition called anaploidy results in a condition called anaploidy and okay that will be either 2n plus 1 so in this case okay if i'm taking uh, humans as an example so we know the 2n number of humans is 46 plus 1 it will be 47 chromosomes so this is a trisomy condition or it can be 2n minus 1 which i mentioned as monosomy so 46 minus 1 it will be 45 okay so this is uh, one point and another one failure of like uh, the complete a set of chromosomes right here so failure of uh, cytokinesis failure of cytokinesis after telophase stage okay after telophase stage this will result in a condition called polyploidy will result in a condition called polyploidy and that polyploidy i'll mention as 2n okay plus n so 2n plus n so it means that in this case there is a addition of whole set of chromosomes so in polyploidy there is addition of whole set of chromosomes you can see so this n is okay whole set of chromosomes of course here uh, there may be one or more uh, whole set of chromosomes so there may be one or more whole set of chromosomes so say uh, i'll be taking same example of humans so we know what uh, 2n is 46 plus the haploid number is 23 then it results in having 69 chromosomes of course uh, it is not possible in case of human beings but this polyploidy condition is very much common in plants common in plants okay of course in case of humans uh, the zygote itself will not develop or if it develops also okay at one or other point uh, 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 it, it will undergo the I mean it will not undergo any development and uh, it results in the death of uh, the embryo okay so that's not seen in case of uh, human beings here so we have uh, okay uh, two conditions that can result in chromosomal disorders now uh, here mainly I'll be discussing about this condition only that is uh, failure of segregation that is uh, during uh, cell division which uh, will result in the condition called anaploidy so that may be either trisomy or monosomy
Like, so here I told you this uh, chromosomal disorders can be autosomal and allosomal. So if the problem with the autosomes then autosomal and if the problem with the uh, sex chromosomes then it is allosomal so coming to this uh, autosomal here we have uh, example of down's syndrome so example of down syndrome and coming to allosomal so we have uh, example of uh, klein Felters syndrome and Turner's syndrome. So let's see the first one Down's syndrome. So this was first described by. Langdon down in 1866 so it was first discovered by uh, Dr. Langdon down in 1866 and here the down syndrome is due to presence of an extra chromosome number 21 so it is due to presence of extra chromosome number 21 so for that reason we call this condition as uh, trisomy 21 so there is an extra okay chromosome present in this uh, individual okay and uh, Coming to the karyotype, so this karyotype will be 45A plus XX in case of females, okay, and uh, it will be 45A plus XY in case of males, right? So you can see 45, 46. 47 so that will be the total number of chromosomes will be 47 in this case also the number of chromosomes will be 47 right now coming to the clinical features so the person who is born with the Down's syndrome so what features uh, we will see so there will be characteristic features uh, in that person okay so those uh, clinical features will see the person will have broad flat face and flat back of a head okay so there will be a flat back of a head and then we will also see the person will be having congenital heart disease means uh, there are heart problems by birth so there will be heart problems by birth and we will also see many okay loops on fingertips so the person will be having okay many loops on uh, fingertips so the fingertips usually will have uh, uh, okay uh, loops but this person will be having uh, many of them so many loops on fingertips and uh, there will be also a okay characteristic uh, palm crease the person will have okay palm crease so palm crease uh, means usually we have uh, okay two lines here so one up and one down but uh, the individual who is having this down syndrome will have only one line so so 
or if you are saying something like this there will be only one line so this is okay single palm face so that's uh, okay uh, one of the features of the people having this uh, Down's syndrome so they are born but they are mentally uh, retarded so they will be mentally retarded and will show uh, some of these features they will have a broad flat face and a flat back of uh, head then they will be having congenital heart disease then many loops on fingertips will be seen okay and uh, they will be also having big and uh, wrinkled tongue so big and wrinkled tongue so they have big and wrinkled tongue so these are some uh, clinical features in case of down syndrome you see a few more in this case so a few more features the person in this case of down syndrome will be short stature so the person will be short stature okay and will be having a small round head with the small round head so the person is a short stature and will be having round okay head and uh, there will be partially open mouth partially open mouth so the person will be seen uh, with the partially open mouth and uh, there will be physical and uh, psychomotor so there will be okay physical psychomotor and uh, also mental development is retarded okay so there is a uh, mental development mental development is also retarded physical psychomotor and mental development is retarded and here uh, psychomotor which means okay muscular activity associated with the mental okay processes so here uh, there will be muscular activity that will be controlled by the brain and those will not be okay clear so uh, the muscular activity associated with the mental processes they will be also retarded so the person will not be uh, growing properly so he will be having short stature with a small okay round face uh, so that is a physical and he will have the problems of psychomotor and also there will be no proper mental development in case of Down's syndrome. Right, so that's all about the Down syndrome. The next one we'll say about the allosomal chromosomal disorders. So under that, the first one we'll see the Klein Felters syndrome right so the next one will say about klein felters syndrome so this is caused due to presence of extra x chromosome so it is caused due to presence of extra x chromosome okay and uh, it results in having the karyotype will be a 
okay 44 a plus x x y and in this case the total number of chromosomes uh, just like in case of down's syndrome will be okay 47 so in down syndrome uh, there is an extra uh, presence of autosome that is 21 chromosome number 21 okay is present in three numbers but in this case okay there is presence of an extra x chromosome so in the beginning of this uh, session i told you that if the x chromosomes uh, do not separate during uh, the gamete formation either okay of course in case of uh, uh, females okay so you will be seeing an egg with two x chromosomes so the egg with two x chromosomes when it comes in contact with uh, sperm having y chromosome will result in this condition x x y and of course this results in a baby born so will be male okay so in this case the born individual is male but have okay feminine characters so the born individual is male but will show the presence of a feminine characters which means okay the female characters okay so presence of uh, feminine characters right so like uh, example in this case will be development of breast so there will be uh, here the overall development is masculine so i told born individual is male so it means the person is showing okay overall okay masculine development the person is showing the overall masculine development but uh, along with that the person will also show feminine characters and such condition where uh, the overall uh, masculine development but showing the feminine characters is a condition we call it uh, gynecomastia so the condition is called gynecomastia so where we see the masculine okay development the overall masculine development with the feminine uh, characters is a condition we call gynecomastia and these individuals so here uh, coming to the clinical features so i'll just say okay so these individuals are sterile so means okay no ability to reproduce so they don't have the ability to uh, reproduce okay right so the person overall development will be masculine but uh, the person will show the feminine uh, characters like the development of breast and such condition we call gynecomastia and these individuals are sterile and uh, these individuals are also mentally retarded so they are also mentally retarded right so that's all about the klein factors syndrome now let's see the last one Turner syndrome okay so here the turner syndrome is caused due to caused due to absence of one x chromosome okay so it is caused due to absence of one x chromosome so hence in this case the karyotype will be 44 a plus x0 so that is xo uh, which i will be 
uh, use it but actually this indicates a zero means there is no pair for this uh, sex chromosome caused due to absence of one X chromosome okay the karyotype will be 44a plus x so total number of chromosomes 44 plus 1 that will be 45 chromosomes so the individual born will be having 45 chromosomes so here in this case the overall development is okay like a uh, female that is a feminine development so the overall development is feminine development so the born individual is a female and coming to the clinical features okay so in this case uh, in this female in this uh, female so there will be rudimentary ovaries so there will be rudimentary ovaries so here uh, rudimentary ovaries which means they are okay non-functional ovaries so they are non-functional ovaries and because of this so the individual is sterile so the individual is sterile not capable of uh, reproducing and we will also see there will be no secondary sexual character so lack of secondary sexual characters like development of uh, breast okay and uh, uh, menstruation menstrual cycles uh, they are not seen in case of uh, uh, the individuals uh, born with the Turner's syndrome and uh, with this we complete uh, this chapter in the next session uh, I'll be starting with uh, uh, the new chapter uh, that will be molecular basis of inheritance